Hello guys, welcome to the best to-do list application tutorial. In this video, we're going to set up Redux with React.js. In our previous video, we created the landing page for our application. So before we get started, before we kick off, please kindly click the like button below. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, you might as well subscribe now in order not to forget in the future so so far this is what we did in the previous video we created the landing page for our application with just the sign in sign up and get get started button so this is our terminal we have two servers running on the terminal this is the client server for the react side of our application and this is our api server Now, in our code editor, make sure you change directory to your client folder because in a, the root folder has runs the the API server. One, the client folder uh, has scripts scripts that run the client server. So make sure you're in the client server. Uh, folder before you run the script so in our client so I have folder we are going to install the necessary dependencies for this uh, video so I'm going to do MP M npm install access So with these are the dependencies I'm going to install. While that is getting installed, let's create the necessary folders for we're going to be using. So let's create an actions folder. Next reduces reduces re reduces folder. And lastly, API call folder. In that API call folder, let's create an index.js file. So this is where we are going to create a function to handle the API calls to access. So we're going to import access. and create a function call it um, api call and it's going to take url method body and uh, token so for this case in case to, for this in case the token is not provided i'm just going to return an empty string and for the body too, in case the body is not provided, an empty object. So here I'm going to have access and I'm going to take method URL and the URL it's going to be HTTP localhost that's the URL for our server it runs on localhost 3000 so API
good and next we have the data data it's going to be a body also lastly we have the headers we're going to be setting headers on the and that is going to be our authorization header for this part i'm going to create a function that is going to help us compose the header help us compose the header so i'm going to call it compose token it is going to take token as parameter and i'm going to check if token is provided just return authorization viera space token else if it is not provided just return an empty object so I'm now gonna spread that compose token here so this is all for our API core function let's just export it now So this is good. Let's now go to our actions. Let's create a few files. The index file and our first actions, which is going to be authentication actions. Now, in this authentication actions, let's create our first action. But before that, let's import API call. API call from make API call. First action is going to be sign up action. It is going to come with a user parameter. That user is going to now. This is going to be a talk action, so it's asynchronous. So I'm going to make it a sync dispatch. Usually, this is a function that takes two arguments. It usually takes dispatch and get state. But in this uh, tutorial, we are not going to make any use of the get state method here. So I just have to remove it and allow dispatch alone. So now we have this. Let's now do the API call. We have response. It's going to take a URL. URL is going to be slash of the same URL in our API routes for sign up. This is the URL. We already have a base URL which is this guy in our API call function and this is the endpoint we are adding to that. So we have this and method is going to be post sign up. Also the body is going to be the user token, no token, so it's just going to be no for the moment. So I'm going to do return dispatch type. I'm going to give it type of 
ein ab hier so Payload Rest of data So this is our first action. Let's create another action for sign in. This watch sign in post user sign in user and that's all. Let's now go to our reducers. Let's create index.js and the auth reducer. Let's just complete this. I'm going to export those actions. Do export all from. So I'm exporting all the actions in this file. So let's create our reducer now. Let's have an, ish, an initial state object. We just the user of no and is authenticated. Authenticated of false it's going to be a boolean so it's going to take a switch a switch statement and it like now first case is for the sign up in case it's sign up user return this date and update the user going to return the same thing if I return a state so here I'm going to import import combined reducers and I will see Let's create another file in our soft directory called store. This is where we're going to 
configure our Redox tool. Let's import from Redox create store apply middleware and next we are going to so let's import um, from Redux. Wait, this is supposed to be single quotes. Redux Dev Tool extension. We're going to import compose with Dev Tools on that. And next is and reduces and export default create store it's going to take reduces We have to it's going to take a flight midway. Now, another import statement I'm going to import a Redux logger. Also, I'm going to import Redux Dunk. So here we have the logger and Dunk. I think this is good now. Let's go to our index file and set it up here too. I'm going to import from React Redux our provider. And connect the store to it. So we are good to go. There is an error. So no follow the weekly. Let me make sure Redux is installed. Yeah, I need to install Redux. I didn't install Redux.
everything is working now. Mm, let's go and test our action creators. Let's test the action creators. Go to and have. So let's import our first action. To, let's create a, an event handler. Handle click. and it is going to do sign up for us so it is going to be an asynchronous function so we're gonna await it Let's connect this. Let's connect this component to Redux. I'm going to do connect from Redux, React Redux. Let's create a map state props. Click on the sign up button. Going to do and um, <laughs> sign up. So um, I need to pass the user object here. Let me just give it name and our email. That's my email. Password. Password one. So that's my password. So we are good. Put the sign up.
also good for the sign in so before we run this let me change directory to a root file or folder I'm going to run MP run migrate this is to clear uh, to clear the database I wanted to empty the database so that in case that user existed already I shouldn't get any error from that getting an error Stein, signing is not defined sign up is not defined So we are good for the for now there is no user so that is no okay I'm getting an error from from a course a course error so we didn't set up course to a, we didn't handle course errors in our cell, uh, uh, API server so go into your API folder and to the server your app I'm going to uh, while in the to do like while in the root directory install course and I'm going to import it directly below this do app yes course credential I'm going to set it to true origin true so this is going to handle that error I don't know what's wrong Start the course. So everything is up and running. Let's click. And it worked. So I use that signed in. However, I this user is supposed to contain just the user object it's supposed to contain just the user object so I'm going to this structure that sign in since I've already signed up bad requests so what's our error oh I'm doing the same sign up for I'm using the same URL let me change the URL here that's not it it's a different URL let's see Okay, this is supposed to be signed in. So let's run that. And our user is signed in. This is the user. And just the user object authenticated to. So 
yeah guys this is the end of this video in our next video we are going to handle sign up sign in we're going to create the page for sign up and sign in and also handle authentication for our app like creating like saving the token in a in a cookie in a cookie to use throughout the app so thank you for watching my video and please make sure you subscribe like and share see you in the next video